Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Some of you might have noticed, or you might not have, I don't know, but I haven't been on YouTube very much recently. I've been going around making a few comments here and there, but I haven't really put out uh, many videos. And in fact, the last one that I put out was the Georgia meetup, and that was almost a month ago. So here's the deal. I work six days a week, uh, at least we have been, and uh, we finally got a Saturday off. And what a lovely day. I mean, it is beautiful out here. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's warm. Um, just a big departure from, you know, old man winter. So anyway, this is really nice. And so I thought I'd come out here and shoot a video and enjoy a little bit of sunshine while I'm at it. So let's get into this. So this video is going to be about the 1976 Chevy Stepside 4x4 model kit. If you remember, Ernie found this down in Atlanta when we were down there for the model show back in November. And I, I did a video on that, and you can go back and check it out if you'd like. Um, but she had called me over and she said, hey, look, here's I, I want you to see this. I want this kit. And, and so um, I, I bought the kit. Now, like I said, 1976 Chevrolet Stepside 4x4 uh, model kit. It's by Revelle. This is the kit. And she wants me to build this uh, like a truck that she remembers from her past. And uh, the one that she remembers has the big stripe that goes down the side. Well, the problem with the kit that I got was the step side, they didn't really do the stripe down the side. That was a fleet side that they actually did the, uh, the stripe down the side. So what I'm doing with this model is I'm gonna kit bash it and I'm gonna kit bash it with this kit. Now this is a 77 GMC snowplow kit. It's also a Revell kit. And these two kits are amazingly similar. Um, the cab, the, uh, the frame, all, all the suspension, the engine, transmission, everything is all the same from one kit to the other. Now the bed on the, on the trucks are a little bit different. Uh, obviously one's fleet side, one's step side. And a couple of other minor differences. The, the front grille is different. Um, it's got different decals in it. But basically these two are the same kits. Um, the wheels are a little different too. That's, that's another notable. But um, as typical Revell, and these kits have been around for a while, there's a little bit of flash on them. Um, there are some mold lines on the, the cab body. And uh, see if you can see those in these pictures. There's a mold line right around the uh, the back of the cab, right above the uh, the rear window or the side window, and then there's another mold line on the fender, just below the uh, the lower uh, side of the windshield. So you're gonna have to clean that up. You're gonna have to sand them off if you want to make it look good. And I've already done that on mine. Now another thing that you're gonna notice is that on my model that I'm building, I want it to have a nice big meaty high horsepower engine all right so i'm going to put a big block in it um, i have taken the engine out of the 67 chevelle pro street model kit and i cut the engine away from the transmission because they're all molded as one piece and i took the engine out of the chevy truck and i cut the transmission off of it as well and then I put the big block with the Chevy truck transmission and transfer case. So now I've got big block power uh, that I'm gonna be putting in there and I'm gonna paint it to, to match the body. It's gonna be the same color. And I've also done the stripe down the side. Check it out. So like I said before, this is supposed to be a build of a truck that Ernie remembers from, from her past. And so I'm trying to uh, take what she's telling me and, and the pictures that I've been able to find of uh, you know what, what these trucks look like back in 76 kind of like this 
and then a couple ideas that I have in my head and, and just put them all together. So this is this thing's like a, a really big kit bash. Um, so I've got the 77 GMC that I'm taking parts off of, basically the bed of the truck. I've got the, uh, the Chevelle kit that I'm taking the engine out of. Uh, I think I might have taken something else out of that kit too, I don't remember. Um, I've got a 70 Monte Carlo kit that I've taken the intake manifold out of. And by the way, any of you guys out there, if you've got an extra uh, big block Chevrolet intake manifold, 125th, 124th scale, uh, just laying around and you'd like to maybe donate it, I'd like to keep my Monte Carlo kit uh, as stock as possible, but by robbing that intake manifold out of it, now uh, I'm, I'm short. But anyway, uh, I, I will take any donations that y'all want to offer. So. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. I'm going to show you the photos uh, that I haven't already showed you of, of what I've done so far on the build. And I hope that you're as excited about this as I am. Uh, I know Ernie's excited about it because so far she says I've pretty much nailed it um, for, from what she remembers. Oh, by the way, I've also done a custom tonneau cover that's going to be on the back of the truck. And you can see that in, in one of the earlier photos, but I'll show it to you again. So. I'm not sure if I'm going to attach that or if I'm just going to leave it sit. I might leave it white. I might paint it black. Who knows? But anyway, I hope you'll watch, follow along on this build. And it might take me a while. Like I said, it's been a while since I had a Saturday off. But I'm building. I'm still going at it. So appreciate you guys watching. God bless. Take care. And remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.